Have you ever wondered what it takes to build a tiny star in your own home? For most people, that sounds like something out of a science fiction movie. But for a 12-year-old boy from Memphis, Tennessee, it was a real-life challenge he was determined to conquer. Jackson Oswald wasn't your average seventh grader. While many of his friends were focused on the latest video games, Jackson discovered a new, more thrilling quest. He decided he wanted to achieve nuclear fusion, the same powerful process that makes the sun shine. This incredible goal set him on a path that would astound scientists and make history. It was a bold mission, especially for someone so young. Jackson's journey into the world of high-energy physics didn't start in a fancy laboratory with expensive equipment. It began with inspiration. He learned about another teenager, Taylor Wilson, who had successfully built a nuclear fusion reactor at the age of 14. This story lit a fire in Jackson's mind. If Taylor could do it, why couldn't he? Suddenly, the challenges of video games seemed small compared to the puzzle of smashing atoms together. Jackson set a very specific goal for himself. He wanted to achieve nuclear fusion before he turned 13. This personal deadline turned his scientific curiosity into a race against the clock, pushing him to learn and build faster than anyone thought possible. With his mission clear, Jackson turned to the greatest library of our time, the internet. He didn't have a team of scientists to guide him. Instead, he spent countless hours on his computer diving deep into the world of amateur physics. He watched educational videos on YouTube, learning the complex principles behind fusion energy one step at a time. He also joined online forums where other fusioneers, hobbyists who build their own fusion devices, shared their knowledge and experiences. These digital communities became his classroom and his support system, providing the blueprints and advice he needed to turn his ambitious dream into a tangible plan for his bedroom-turned-laboratory. This self-driven education was a testament to his incredible focus and passion. Imagine a 12-year-old sorting through complex scientific diagrams and technical discussions that would challenge most college students. Jackson absorbed information about vacuum chambers, high-voltage power supplies and the delicate dance of atomic particles. He learned the language of physics, not from a textbook, but from practical, real-world conversations with people who had already walked the path he was on. His determination showed that with enough curiosity and access to information, age is just a number when it comes to tackling some of the biggest ideas in science. He was proving that a kid with a goal could truly reach for the stars. Once Jackson understood the science, it was time to build the machine. His laboratory wasn't a state-of-the-art facility, it was his childhood playroom. He needed to assemble a device called a fuser, which uses powerful electric fields to heat and confine a type of hydrogen gas called deuterium until its atoms slam together and fuse. Sourcing the parts for such a specialized machine was a major challenge. With a budget he had earned himself, Jackson became an expert online shopper, scouring websites like eBay for the high-tech components he needed. He hunted for vacuum pumps, high-voltage converters, and a stainless steel chamber, piecing together his reactor one online purchase at a time. Each package that arrived at his doorstep was another piece of the puzzle. He carefully assembled the fuser, a complex web of wires, tubes and metal parts that looked like something straight out of a mad scientist's workshop. Building the device required incredible patience and precision. He had to create a near-perfect vacuum inside the chamber, a space emptier than outer space to allow the deuterium atoms to move freely. Then he needed to apply tens of thousands of volts of electricity to create a glowing ball of plasma at the center of the device. Every connection had to be perfect, and every component had to work exactly as planned. The process took him nearly a year, a period filled with trial and error. There were moments of frustration when parts didn't fit or when the system failed to hold a vacuum, but Jackson never gave up. He treated every problem as a new level to beat, using his research skills to troubleshoot and find solutions. He was working against his own deadline, his 13th birthday, which added a sense of urgency to his project. His parents, while understandably nervous, supported his passion, trusting in his careful and methodical approach. They watched as their son transformed from a curious kid into a dedicated nuclear experimenter, all within the four walls of their home. Finally, on January 18th, 2018, just hours before his 13th birthday, the moment of truth arrived. 
With his machine fully assembled and all systems checked, Jackson was ready to attempt fusion. He pumped the deuterium gas into the chamber, powered up the high voltage supply and watched as a mesmerizing purple plasma star ignited inside his reactor. He carefully monitored his instruments, looking for the telltale sign of fusion, the release of neutrons. When his neutron detector registered a successful reaction, he knew he had done it. He had successfully fused atoms, achieving a goal that most scientists only dream of. Jackson's incredible achievement wasn't just a personal victory. It was a scientifically valid experiment. He had carefully documented his entire process from the initial design to the final results. To confirm his success, his work was reviewed by fusion experts, including Richard Hull, an administrator of the online fuser community. After examining his data and setup, they verified his claim. Jackson Oswald had officially become the youngest person in the world to achieve nuclear fusion, earning him a place in the Guinness World Records. He had built a star in his playroom, proving that with enough dedication, even the most complex science is within reach. News of a 12-year-old building a nuclear reactor in his home didn't just catch the attention of the scientific community. It also raised a few eyebrows with government authorities. One day, the Oswald family received some unexpected visitors agents from the Federal Bureau of Investigation. They'd been alerted to the possibility of a homemade nuclear experiment and arrived to ensure that everything was safe. The agents came equipped with Geiger counters and other sensitive radiation detecting equipment to check Jackson's home and the surrounding neighborhood for any signs of dangerous radioactive contamination. It must have been a surreal moment for the family. The FBI agents were thorough in their inspection. They swept the house, paying close attention to Jackson's lab, searching for any lingering radiation that could pose a threat to his family or the community. To their relief, their instruments found nothing. Jackson had been incredibly careful and responsible throughout his experiment. He understood the potential dangers and had put safety first, following established protocols to shield his device and contain the reaction. The agents confirmed that there were no harmful radiation levels present and they concluded that his experiment was conducted safely and posed no risk to the public. With the all clear from the FBI, Jackson's story became even more remarkable. Not only had he achieved a monumental scientific feat, but he had done so with the maturity and responsibility of a seasoned professional. The visit from the federal agents added a thrilling chapter to his story, highlighting the fine line between encouraging bold scientific exploration and ensuring public safety. Jackson had successfully navigated both, proving that young scientists can pursue their passions in a way that is both groundbreaking and safe. His family could finally breathe a sigh of relief, proud of their son's incredible and now federally vetted accomplishment. After conquering the world of nuclear fusion, you might wonder what a young prodigy like Jackson Oswald would do next. He didn't rest on his laurels. Instead, his boundless curiosity led him to a new and exciting frontier artificial intelligence. Jackson's passion for solving complex problems and building innovative systems found a new home at Mid-Journey, an independent research lab focused on AI. There, he began working on developing new hardware interfaces, blending his love for hands-on building with the cutting-edge world of machine learning. His journey shows that a curious mind never stops exploring new challenges. Jackson's story serves as a powerful inspiration for young people everywhere. It demonstrates that you don't need to wait until you have a fancy degree or work in a university lab to start making a difference. With access to information and a burning desire to learn, anyone can explore their scientific interests. His success underscores the importance of encouraging and supporting young minds. When we give kids the freedom to ask big questions and the tools to find the answers, they can achieve extraordinary things. Safe, hands-on experimentation is one of the most powerful ways to foster a lifelong love of science and engineering. The field Jackson first explored, nuclear fusion, holds immense promise for the future of our planet. Unlike current nuclear power plants, which use fission, splitting atoms, fusion combines them. This process, which powers the sun, has the potential to provide a clean, safe and virtually limitless source of energy. It doesn't produce long-lived radioactive waste or greenhouse gases, making it an ideal solution to combat climate change and meet the world's growing energy needs. 
While Jackson's small fuser wasn't designed to generate net power, it serves as a brilliant proof of concept and a beacon of hope for future energy technology. In the end, Jackson Oswalt's journey from gamer to fusioneer to AI developer is more than just a story about a brilliant kid. It's a reminder of the incredible potential that lies within every young person. It shows us that the next great scientific breakthrough could come from a bedroom, a garage or a playroom. By nurturing curiosity, providing resources and celebrating bold ideas, we can empower the next generation of innovators to solve the world's biggest problems. The future is bright and it will be built by young dreamers like Jackson who aren't afraid to reach for the stars.